First, our top headlines. Electronic medical records system for 2023. Minister McCoy shuts down Norton's criticism of cricket carnival. Seven water treatment plans for the coastland. And in sport, Caribbean Mini and pre cadet Championships set for Friday. Now for the news in detail. The Minister of Health, in partnership with Mount Sinai, is working to establish an electronic medical records system which will help medical health personnel to retrieve patients' information in a timely manner. Jessica Callender reports. Minister of Health Dr. Frank Antony disclosed that works are moving apace to establish electronic medical records and health informatics systems. This is part of a more comprehensive plan to establish a world-class healthcare system in Guyana. The system should be operational as early as next year. We hope by sometime next year that we'll be able to roll this out. What we envisage with such a system is that the patient, when they come to the doctor, their records would be available to that person. If they go and do an X-ray or a CT scan, those um, imaging would also be integrated in the patient's record. So when you go to visit your doctor, all the information is available. As the health system advances, there will be an integrated medical system where every citizen could have a smart card. Minister Anthony says this will reduce waiting time and make the overall medical process faster and more efficient, since large amounts of data can then be stored and retrieved readily. And when the doctor make a diagnosis and they uh, prescribe medications for you, you go over to the pharmacy because the, the prescriptions will all be done electronically. So it's a very comprehensive system that we are working on. And our intention is to start with the hospitals and then roll that you know, out to other health facilities. So it's going to take a lot of work, a lot of effort, but in the final analysis, it's going to help with the efficiency of the system. Reporting for MTV's News Update, Jessica Callender. The Elizabeth Sloan Institute of Technology is aiming to position the Caribbean as a major source for highly skilled ICT professionals through a 1.46 million U.S. dollars grant program. Here again is Jessica Callender. A cyber attack happens every 40 seconds. The cybersecurity worker shortage is an extreme danger to security, and investing in talent is the key to fending off future threats. The Elizabeth Sloan Institute of Technology, ESIT, has committed to the largest ever investment into cybersecurity education in the Caribbean to the sum of 1.46 million U.S. dollars. The Elizabeth Sloan Consulting Firm, based in Gambia, says there is a growing need for trained ICT professionals internationally, which can be supplemented by upskilling talent in the Caribbean. This is according to Melanie Winter, Managing Director of Elizabeth Sloan. We have to be supplementing our talent with Caribbean uh, personnel, uh, so our office in Jamaica. And that, you know, due to, due to time zone issues, that's uh, causing a lot of challenges. Uh, and the board has recognized that we want to be able to grow, grow on the continent um, if we aren't if we aren't upskilling persons. While companies are looking to hire cybersecurity professionals in droves, the industry often requires that workers have specific credentials or certifications on top of education requirements. The program will help upskill ICT professionals in the Caribbean. Through these grants, ICT professionals can obtain cybersecurity certifications such as CISSP, CCSP, Security Plus, and SSCP. Winter says the grant program will subsidize the cost of certificates and training by more than 50%. Now these grants are they are bond free. We're not you're not attached to, to our company, you're not attached to the school. It's just to have more persons on the continent and the English speaking um, African countries that that is able to 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 you know fit a lot of these job requirements that we have and other persons in in the in the ICT world um, as we move towards uh, you know a more stringent data protection. As of 2022, there is still a cybersecurity workforce gap of over 2.7 million. The global cybersecurity workforce needs to increase by 65% to effectively be able to defend organizations' essential assets. 
These scholarships will be available to persons in English-speaking territories of Africa and across the Caribbean. Reporting for MTV's News Update, this is Jessica Callender. You're watching MTV's News Update. More news on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Are you building or renovating your home? Then come to BSET for a wide range of aluminum and UPVC windows and doors. Get from single hung sash, on it, casement, sliding windows, plus sliding and swinging doors. All our products can be customized and fitted with insect screens and are seal tight to withstand harsh weather conditions. At BSET, we also carry commercial, glass and French doors, showcases, aluminum louvers, curtain walls, aluminum rails, plus sliding and frameless shower doors. So look no further. Visit our showroom today at La 1228A. Echoes Industrial Site or call 622-4197 or 623-4197. Peace on windows and doors. Build with pride in Guyana by Guyanese. Hi, my name is Jaden Safwi and I'm very excited to have GTT set up this fiber cable. As you can see, I'm young, so I'll be using this uh, Wi-Fi, this internet to be doing my everyday browsing and searching and you know just my homework and assignments playing games watching youtube you know the regular stuff um i really enjoy the service i think it's extremely great and you also have like the free minutes so for that you know if you're in trouble you call your parents or someone The Gift Center, conveniently located at 46 Hatfield Street, opposite the White Castle Fish Shop, we are the best place to find quality products for yourself, your home, or a friend. Display your cherished memories in the perfect picture frame. Shop from a great selection of accessories for men, such as belts, wallets, and more. And for the women, find a great selection of handbags to suit your taste. Choose your signature scent or a timeless classic from our wide array of ladies and gents designer fragrances. We offer a range of innovative games that will guarantee you many hours of unspeakable fun. Enhance the decor of your home with beautiful lamps and unique wall art, just to name a few. The Gift Center, where quality is never compromised. Leave no one behind. Better production, better nutrition, better environment, a better life. The theme of this year's celebration of World Food Day, Sunday, October 16th at the Albion Sports Complex Ground. This event is a collaborative effort between the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and the Ministry of Agriculture and will feature a formal program and an integrated exposition of agricultural produce and products within the setting of Burby's Expo 2022. World Food Day Boots will feature agriculture in its many forms, fresh produce, agro-processed foods, byproducts such as craft and a whole lot more, a variety of foods prepared prepared by the various partner organizations will also be there for the sampling. World Food Day 2022, October 16th, Albion Sports Complex Ground in Burbese. Don't you miss it. Hello, homeowners and painters. We're happy with the response we've gotten. Thank you. As such, we're now offering a multi-surface roof, floor, and wall polyroutine paint at a special reduced price of 2,500 per 1.5 gallons bucket. This paint can be used on wood, concrete, zinc, and metal. Don't forget we have a new shipment of oil paint with shades such as Morning Glory, Nantucket Grey or White, and many more familiar shades to choose from. The water-based paint at 3,600 per gallon and the oil-based paint for 4,300 per gallon. Come into our showroom to view the colors and let's beautify our surroundings. Global sales and distribution, Lot 14 to be Quamina Street, opposite King's Jewelry World between Waterloo and Carmichael Street. Look for the red front building. Telephone 504-3908 or 6220601. Regent and Royal Paints created for you at the most competitive price. See you soon! You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket a day could make you rich today.
are nine food-based dietary guidelines in Guyana for you to follow and live a healthy life. Guidelines 5 and 6 deals with sugar and salt consumption. An important step we can take to watch our sugar and salt consumption is to read food labels. This is very important as there are a lot of sugars and salt in many of the foods we eat and drink. So when we are reading the labels, we need to look for instance at the sugar content and the amount stated and multiply that by the servings per container to know the total sugar in the product. Or we look at the salt or sodium content and the amount stated and multiply that by the servings per container to know the total salt in the product. The daily recommended amount of added sugar for males and females should be 60 spoons or less and the daily recommended amount of salt should be less than 1 teaspoon. For instance, the amount of sugar in this size of soft drink could be as much as 16 teaspoons and in this kind of drink as much as 10 teaspoons. Please, let's pay attention to what we are eating as overconsumption of unhealthy foods leads to many illnesses including high blood pressure, obesity, and heart disease. Come on, Guyana, let's use the food-based dietary guidelines to reach for a better life with good health. This is MTV's news update. Welcome back. Minister of Housing and Water Colin Kroll early today participated in the contract signing of the construction of seven water treatment plants valued at $8.5 billion. The contracts were signed between the Guyana Water Incorporated GWI and three contractors, Sigma Engineering Limited Bangladesh, Toshiba Water Solution and Services Limited India, and Hypro Ecológico Mexico. The treatment plants will be constructed at Under Neeming Region 2, Perica, Wales, Luston Russ and Caledonia Region 3, and Cummins Lodge and Bachelors Adventure Region 4. Over 181,000 residents will benefit. Minister Curl said that the treatment plants are part of the 13 expected to be constructed across the country at a total cost of $30 billion. He added that Cabinet has already approved the upgrading of several existing treatment plants, particularly along the East Bank de Marara. The minister said the new systems will see treatment water coverage, treated water coverage rather, on the coast belt moving from 52% to 90% by the year 2025. It is also part of the government's overall plan to improve the quality of life of citizens. Public Affairs Minister Kwame McCoy has shut down Opposition Leader Aubrey Norton's criticism, saying that the, free, the recently concluded Guyana Cricket Carnival events demonstrated a sense of lawlessness. More in this report. Guyana last month's end held its first cricket carnival, which included a month of activities and the hosting of several Caribbean Premier League cricket matches. Following the conclusion of the events, Opposition Leader Aubrey Norton criticized the event as one that demonstrated a sense of lawlessness. Norton accused the government of blatantly politicizing the celebration, adding that the event should have been one to promote unity. Promote entertainment, but we should not politicize it. We should allow it to operate as a unifying factor, people into be entertained, but all of this must be done recognizing that the state has to allocate resources and the resources should be allocated for the improvement of the lives and the quality of life of the people of Guyana. And then we can focus resources on... However, Canada. Minister of Public Affairs Kwame McCoy on Wednesday shut down Norton's criticisms. He said Norton's condemnation of the festival speaks volume of his time as an advisor of youth affairs with the previous administration. During his tenure on youth empowerment, there is no trace of any event or initiative of his that demonstrated concern about young people's well-being. Then, and as youths across Ghana languished in the coalition's wilderness of inaction. Now, even while Norton himself is hypocritically condemning entertainment. He could be seen being entertained regularly, gyrating to the same kinds of music. The public affairs minister also rebuffed allegations of a division. His desperate actions are clear signals that the new dispensation of empowerment for all Guyanese under the People's Progressive Party Civic 
is demolishing the only ground on which the PNC knows how to stand. Javon Vickery, MTV News Update. More news coming up after the break. Stay with us. Why you minding me business? I noticed you yesterday, you're there watching, 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 watching. Today you're there here again. Why you minding me business? I fed up your nosy self. Yeah, baby, I just love your windows. Why are you bad eye in me window? Like you house single window? What kind of window really in your house? I got some old louvers windows that I need to change. Louvers! <laughs> Girl, I let you in for a secret, right? Peace and got a special deal right now. You go down there, you buy 10 window, you get a free bathroom window. Oh, for the love of God, try with them louvers window and go down to Peace and modernize. Peace and windows and doors. Serving Guyana with the highest quality windows for your home, office, or commercial building. The Central Housing and Planning Authority is kindly asking residents living in communities under the management of the department to desist from storing construction materials on roadways and road shoulders. Residents are also being asked not to block roadways or drains with construction materials. According to clauses 12 and 13 of the amended agreement of sale of restrictive covenants attached to titles issued from 2012, no storage of materials comprising earth, sand, stone, blocks, cements, timber and steel or mixing of concrete shall be permitted on the road or the road shoulders. Any materials on the road or the road shoulders must be cleared within 24 hours of being placed thereon. Residents are reminded that failure to adhere to clauses 12 and 13 will result in a penalty of $10,000 being charged per day of default. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. Modern Optical Service has made it even better by introducing its budgeted spectacle line, starting as low as $10,000 for single vision lens and $12,000 for bifocal lens, available in tinted or clear, complete spectacles at affordable prices. So hurry down to our main office at 316 Middle Street or Lot 14 Diamond Public Road opposite Demerara Bank. Enjoy over 60 years of eye care experience at affordable prices. Modern Optical Service, your eye care professionals. Hello homeowners and painters. We're happy with the response we've gotten. Thank you. As such, we're now offering the multi-surface roof, floor and wall potty routine paint at a special reduced price of $2,500 per 1.5 gallons bucket. This paint can be used on wood, concrete, zinc and metal. Don't forget we have a new shipment of oil paint with shades such as Morning Glory, Nantucket Grey or White, and many more familiar shades to choose from. The water-based paint at $3,600 per gallon and the oil-based paint for $4,300 per gallon. Come into our showroom to view the colors and let's beautify our surroundings. Global sales and distribution, Lot 14 to be Quabbin Street, opposite King's Jewelry World between Waterloo and Carmichael Street. Look for the red front building. Telephone 504-3908 or 6220601. Regent and Royal Paints created for you at the most competitive price. See you soon! Live your fantasy at Fantasy Gaming Lounge. Win big daily. Millions in cash prizes every week. Now located at Giftland Mall, Fantasy Gaming Lounge, the best bet in town. Tell the girl you want me. <gasps> Sorry, I'm interrupting y'all. Mala, I'm here taking the census. Girl, you are done got a husband already, huh? Miss, I am a census taker, going door to door so that everyone can be interviewed and counted in the National Census 2022. What is the census though? Well, the Population and Housing Census is a count of the population and all the buildings every 10 years. Getting counted transforms an entire nation. From Region 1 to Region 10. You know what? I believe our village needs a health center. I think it needs some roads too. You see the man boots out there, how it's full of mud, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm asking Mrs. De Silva a few questions from our questionnaire. We record the answers and then the data is used to help shape the future of the country. Oh, so the two y'all not. Oh gosh. We called him.
Fibertech materials are used in a multitude of ways from repairing and fabrication of auto body, fishing and household items. We have available various fiberglass mattings, resin, mold releases, brushes and rollers for all of your repair needs. We offer technical advice and free training to ensure you get the job done. For further information, call us at 2206907 or 2209192. Your Tune 20 TV's news update. The Agriculture Ministry, in collaboration with the Health Ministry on Wednesday, hosted a health fair in observance of Agriculture Month to signify the importance of health across the sectors. Here is more. Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa said the health fair is symbolic of the focus the ministry places on safe and healthy practices within the sector and now towards persons involved in that sector. We always take health concern and health issue very importantly. That is why we are trying as much as possible to instill in our farmers, instill in stakeholders the best practices in handling chemicals and other agriculture input. And today you could see here also we are stressing the importance of health checkup. The event forms part of the Agriculture Month of activities being observed under the team, championing food security through innovation, investment and resilience. He said promoting good health has always been at the forefront and in order to have a strong agriculture sector, Guyana needs to have a healthy workforce. And as a stakeholder, a productive stakeholder in this country, the Ministry of Health, you know we produce a lot of food and a lot of other items, commodities. We want to ensure that the stakeholder in the Ministry of Agriculture are healthy. They also, um, we promote these health checkups, we promote the healthy way of living and also they must take their health very seriously. Persons who participated in today's event benefited from a range of services which included blood pressure testing, oral health checks, BMI testing, blood sugar testing, HIV or AIDS testing, as well as discussions on mental health and cancer, among other services. Other activities in observance of Agriculture Month will be a Women and Youth Agriculture Symposium on Friday at Teen Campus Burbies, followed by the 16th Annual Burbies Expo and Trade Fair on Saturday. Reporting for MTV's News Update, Jessica Callender. Here is Shamar Elaine with Court Roundup. A 20-year-old man who killed former police commissioner Silal Prasad's brother, Hemnan Prasad, in 2017, was on Wednesday sentenced to 12 years behind bars. Justice Sandel Kisun handed down the sentence in the Demerara High Court. Owing to the fact that the man was charged as a juvenile, his particulars will be withheld for legal purposes. Initially indicted for murder, the man pleaded guilty to the lesser count of manslaughter. He admitted that on February 19, 2017, during the course of Ferdinand's of a robbery at Stabrook Market, he unlawfully killed Prasad. After sentencing the man, Justice Kisun asked for the time he spent on pre-trial to be deducted. It was also ordered that he be placed on probation and supervision for three years after his release from prison. The judge also ordered that he enroll at the Government Technical Institute, GTI, or the Guyana Industrial Training Center to complete a course in electrical installation. Additionally, the High Court judge ordered that a report on the man's attendance and progress be submitted to him every three months. If he fails to comply with any of the court's orders, he will be arrested and remanded to prison for an additional 24 months. Prasad called BIM of Esukebo Coast was stabbed to death on February 19, 2017. Following the stabbing, the man made good his escape, while Prasad was taken to the Georgian Public Hospital where he was pronounced dead on arrival. The 20-year-old man was charged in 2017. Following a preliminary inquiry in February 2018, he was committed to stand trial at the Demerara High Court. A 29-year-old man who is no stranger to the court was on Wednesday remanded to prison after being slapped with an armed robbery charge. Curtis Vascom Thelus of Lot 52 First Street, Agricola East Bank de Marara, was hauled before Principal Magistrate Judy Latchman in the Diamond Golden Grove Magistrate's Court. 
He had denied the charge, which stated that while being armed on October 2nd, 2022 at her selling, he robbed Yosir Harvin of $420,000 in cash. Following the robbery, Vascom Tellus made good his escape but was arrested eight days later. After being refused bail, the magistrate adjourned the matter to November 4th, 2022 for a statement and report. In February 2021, Vascom Tellus was granted $150,000 bail after being slapped with an armed robbery charge. Moreover, in 2016, Vascom Tellus and Erwin Peters were committed to stand trial in the High Court for attempted murder committed on Nimdam Khan. In another matter, a 43-year-old man who allegedly broke into a man's house and stole over $1 million in electrical tools was granted $60,000 bail on Wednesday. German Williams of Lot 105 Nelson Street Mocker, East Bank de Marara, appeared before Principal Magistrate Judy Latchman and pleaded not guilty to the charge. The charge against Williams stated that on October 8, 2022, he broke into the dwelling place of Neil Wickham and stole several electrical tools totaling over $1 million. The matter was adjourned to November 4, 2022 for report and a statement. Reporting for MTV's Court Roundup, I am Shamar Allen. We now take a look at Tips for Healthy Living with Norman Govin. Top 10 Medical Causes of Death in Guyana. Coming in at number 2. Stroke, 13% of medical related deaths. What is a stroke? A stroke occurs when a blood vessel in the brain ruptures and bleeds, or when there's a blockage in the blood supply to the brain. The rupture or blockage prevents blood and oxygen from reaching the brain's tissues. Without oxygen, brain cells and tissues become damaged and begin to die within minutes. There are three primary types of strokes. Transient ischemic attack TIA, involves a blood clot that typically reverses on its own. Ischemic stroke involves a blockage caused by either a clot or plaque in the artery. The symptoms and complications of ischemic stroke can last longer than those of a TIA or may become permanent. Hemorrhagic stroke is caused by either a burst or a leaking blood vessel that seeps into the brain. Signs and symptoms. The sooner a person having a stroke gets care, the better their outcome is likely to be. For this reason, it's helpful to know the signs of a stroke so you can act quickly. Stroke symptoms can include paralysis, numbness or weakness in the arm, face and leg, especially in one side of the body, trouble speaking or understanding others, slurred speech, confusion, disorientation, or lack of responsiveness, sudden behavioral changes, especially increased agitation, vision problems, such as trouble seeing in one or both eyes, with vision blackened or blurred or double vision, trouble walking, loss of balance or coordination, dizziness, severe sudden headache with an unknown cause, nausea or vomiting. Treatment. Treatment depends on the type of stroke you have, including which part of the brain was affected and what caused it. Strokes are usually treated with medication. This includes medicines to prevent and dissolve blood clots, reduce blood pressure, and reduce cholesterol levels. In some cases, procedures may be required to remove blood clots. Surgery may also be required to treat brain swelling and reduce the risk of further bleeding, if this was the cause of your stroke. Prevention You can significantly reduce the risk of having stroke by eating a healthy diet, taking regular exercise, following the recommended guidelines on alcohol intake, not drinking more than 14 units a week, and not smoking. If you have a condition that increases your risk of a stroke, it's important to manage it effectively. For example, taking medicine you have been prescribed to lower blood pressure or cholesterol levels. If you have had a stroke or TIA in the past, these measures are particularly important because your risk of having another stroke is greatly increased.
The ISG and MTV's sport debate comes up after the break. Stay tuned. Are you running around looking for construction materials? Well, run down to Lens for affordable, high-quality building supplies. We have the widest range of grade A floor and wall tiles in any shape, size, and designs. And all types of ceramics, porcelain glazed and full body porcelain. We stock the largest collection of large format tiles. Check out our porcelain slabs as big as 10 feet by four and a half feet. Add a bit of elegance with our large range of decorative molding, our line of PPG paints will give you vibrant colors that won't fade. Our wall and ceiling gypsum system. It's light, durable, and fast. So come down to Lens at 136 Cherry Street, which is next to Buddy's and Pizza Hut, for that 31 years of Lens quality. Hi, my name is Jiren Safwi. And I'm very excited to have GTT set up this fiber cable. As you can see, I'm young. So I will be using this uh, Wi-Fi, this internet, to be doing my everyday browsing and searching and, you know, just my homework and assignments, playing games, watching YouTube, you know, the regular stuff. Um, I really enjoy this service. I think it's extremely great. And you also have like the free minutes. So for that, you know, if you're in trouble, you call your parents or someone. The Ministry of Agriculture invites you to join in Celebration of Agriculture Month 2022 under the theme Championing Food Security Through Innovation, Investment and Resilience. This year's celebration kicks off with an interfaith service in the compound of the Ministry of Agriculture on Monday, October 3. Highlights of Agriculture Month this year includes the open day activities featuring the various agencies of the Ministry of Agriculture, farmers, market days across the country and a Women and Youth in Agriculture Symposium. There will also be the annual World Food Day celebrations on October 16, Agriculture Month 2022 under the theme Championing food security through innovation, investment, and resilience. Visit the Ministry of Agriculture's Facebook page for a more detailed schedule of events. Live your fantasy at Fantasy Gaming Lounge. Win big daily. Millions in cash prizes every week. at Giftland Mall, Fantasy Game and Lounge, the best bet in town. Farmers and the members of the public in general are being advised that tampering with drainage and irrigation structures in any way is prohibited under the Drainage and Irrigation Act. So too are practices that result in damage to access dams, such as using an inadequate length of tube to irrigate farmlands, resulting in erosion of the earthen dams. Also contrary to the Drainage and Irrigation Act is the practice of erecting structures or planting on government reserves. This will not be condoned. These reserves are to be clear at all times to provide access for the excavation of the channels. Livestock farmers should also be aware that they are liable for any damages caused by their cattle or swine to dams or reserves alongside DNI channels, as is the case when the animals cross these channels. Individuals wishing to erect bridges across DNI structures should first contact the NDIA before doing so. Those found guilty under the Act are liable to fines and imprisonment for up to three months. A message from the National Drainage and Irrigation Authority, Ministry of Agriculture. You can be a millionaire by only spending $100 on a Daily Million ticket. Simply pick any five numbers from 1 to 26, or you can buy a quick pick for your chance to win the Daily Millions. Purchase your tickets daily Monday through Saturday to get a chance to win $1 million every day. So, feeling lucky? Then buy a Daily Millions ticket today. Remember, a ticket today could make you rich today. Planning a cleanup? We can help. Sivon's waste management skip bins can be provided for home renovation projects, yard cleanups, or construction sites. It's simple. Step one, just pick up the phone and give us a call. Step two, we deliver the skip bin size of your choice. Step three, load the skip with all of your junk. And finally, step four, we take it all away. It's that simple. Bins are also available in various sizes, so there's no job that's too big or too small. 
Call Seaburn's Waste Management today at 218-1455 or 218-1156. The writers of this program are depending on my ethnic but non-threatening voice to explain things they are too lazy to set up traditionally. Only two months into the semester. Marcos, I was watching that. What's the matter with you? Noreen, why you have all these things plugged in, man? You really don't check them bills, you know? You know the cost of electricity? Marcus, you can't be so ridiculous. That's the fridge. Why would you unplug the fridge? I don't understand why the cost of electricity is so high in this country, man. Somebody has to do something. Marcus, you know what I realize? Something is really wrong with you. How are we supposed to live without electricity? Hello, just like our ancestors survived back in the days. I will have you know, Marcus, Noreen Angela Melville is not cut out for that type of life. And already the ninth Ivy League squad buzz with future Olympians and presidents. Hmm. Within Did you know the gas to energy project is expected to reduce the cost of electricity by up to 50%? Yes, that project will slash electricity bills in half. This will also unleash a tsunami of benefits for the manufacturing sector in Guyana. Wow. Marcos, did you hear that? Electricity will be cheaper. Now, Marcos, for the love of God, plug the fridge back in. For the admission. Over the years, ISG has been providing all sectors across Guyana with quality products and outstanding customer service. Proud distributor of NP and Ultra lubricants, engineered for tropical conditions. International trucks and parts, leading the change. SEM machinery, a Caterpillar brand, SKF bearings and mounted products, Napa batteries, Tide power generators. Discover the greatest source of power. Industrial Supply of Guyana Inc. The best opportunity to make the right choice. The Guyana Table Tennis Association is set to host the 2022 Caribbean Mini and pre cadet Championships from October 14 to 19 at the Cliff Anderson Sports Hall. The Caribbean Table Tennis Championships, which serves Guyana and the regions as a key for youth development, will feature players aged 11 to 13 years and under competing in boys and girls in team events, singles, doubles and mixed doubles. The tournament makes its return after it was halted for two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but will see the youngsters vying for regional table tennis supremacy once again. Guyana, as host, will be allowed to select 32 of their pre-cadet and mini-cadet to participate in the competition. Guyana's team includes Samara Sukai, Jasmine Billingi, and Akira Watson, along with Malachi Moore, Ibo McNeil, and Darius Daniels. President of the GTTA, Godfrey Monroe, says a number of countries have already signed up and will be in Guyana in the coming days. Countries such as Guyana, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent, in Dean, St. Lucia um, are scheduled to participate. They've already confirmed their participation. Uh, teams will start arriving from the 12th, Wednesday, which will be uh, Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad, and then uh, on Thursday, St. Lucia, Grenada uh, arrives. Uh, we are scheduled to start on Friday with a formal opening on Saturday. Meanwhile, Jamaica's nine-member delegation arrived in Guyana on Wednesday for the Caribbean Regional Table Tennis Championships. The events that will be contested are teams, doubles, and singles. Coach of the Jamaica team, Dale Parham, says the players are well prepared. The tournament will be played 14 to 19 with two sessions per day. The first session, 10 to 12 a.m., and then in the afternoon from 2 to 6 p.m. The competition will start with team events, doubles, and mixed doubles, and conclude with the singles in the respective age categories. The GTTA says Guyana's team has been in training and they are finalizing all the systems for their participation and the tournament hosting at the Cliff Anderson Sports Hall. 
The World Cup has allowed Qatar to make progress on issues related to worker rights, but there remains gaps in the country's labor system, the tournament's organizing committee says. This is according to BBC Sport. Qatar has come under heavy scrutiny from human rights groups over its treatment of migrant workers. It is estimated up to 30,000 migrant laborers have been used on projects to build seven stadiums for the finals in Qatar, as well as a new airport, new metro, and new roads. However, human rights organization Amnesty International says that since 2010, hundreds of thousands of migrant workers have faced human rights abuses while employed to build wide infrastructure necessary to host the tournament as well as the venues. The World Cup starts on November 20. Burbies won by 26 runs under the Duckworth Lewis Stern method after bad lights stopped their match against Esuquipo's action in the Guyana Cricket Board senior men into county 50 overs tournament continued at the Georgetown Cricket Club on Wednesday. Chasing 227 runs for victory, Burbies, despite losing four wickets in pursuit of the total, remained ahead of the required run rate in the match. Anthony Bramble led the way with 62, while Romario Shepard added to 30 before the umpires were forced to bring a premature end to the matchup. At the time of stoppage, Burbies were at 144 with Jonathan Fu 10 and Shepard at the crease. Earlier, 84 from Quentin Sampson guided Esequibo to 226 and all out, with Shepard the pick of the bowlers for Burbies grabbing 4 wickets for 37 runs from his 10 overs. Meanwhile, in the day's other encounter, a classy knock of 153 from Leon Johnson was enough to earn Demarara victory over the President's 11 at Everest Cricket Ground. Batting first, Johnson guided his side to a total of 316 for 5, with Tejnar and Chandapal and Christopher Barnwell chipping in with 53 and 63 runs, respectively. Demerara bowlers would then make light work of the President's 11 side, wrapping up the innings with 34.3 overs, with Stephen Sankar 4 for 49 and Ashmed Ned 2 for 22, spearheading the attack, dismissing their opponents for 156 runs. That brings us to the end of Sport Update, which was brought to you with the kind compliments of ISG. More after the break. Get the right seal right now from Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc., your immediate SKF sealing solutions. The SKF seal jet machine is capable of building seals from 5 millimeter to 600 millimeter in diameter in under five minutes. With technical support readily available, you can get a customized seal to suit virtually any industrial application, like buffer, rod, wiper, and piston seals. SKF seal jet machine, now at Industrial Supply of Guyana, Inc. And that brings down the curtain on tonight's newscast, but before we go, here is a reminder of our top stories. Electronic Medical Records System for 2023. Minister McCoy shuts down Norton's criticism of Cricket Carnival. Seven water treatment plants for the coastland and in sport. Caribbean Mini and pre cadet Championships set for Friday. Catch our rebroadcast tomorrow at 6 hours 30. Don't forget to like our Facebook page where the news can be viewed live at 19 hours 30. You can also check out our website at mtvgy.com for these and other stories. On behalf of our news and technical teams, Ashley Scotland saying stay safe and goodbye for now.